basically we've uh, collaborated with the Atlanta Opera three times. We did Magic Flute, Pagliacci, and now the Three Penny Opera. And uh, it was during Pagliacci, Tomer came to me and started describing this scene of beggars, like, like small beggars all surrounding the stage and filling it up. I thought, well, I can see that. That makes sense. That sounds like an interesting idea. And kind of went from there. So he had an idea, a visual idea, and it mushroomed into this production. We had a lot of design meetings for months. We met uh, twice a week. And I think one of the hardest things was, was pulling back because at one point, as many puppets as there are in the show now, at one point that list was nearly double. What it was. So we, we certainly had a yeah. fountain of, of creative ideas and, and we had to like temper that a little bit <laughs> to make it practical and doable because I think there's just the sheer volume of puppets. It's, it's as many puppets as we would have in one of our shows without an opera happening in front of it. So we started in December talking or January? That's December is when we first, when it was first an idea. You know, first yeah. meetings were in January. So it was a really quick process. Like usually we spend a year or so like even discussing a right. project. But this one, like from first hearing about it to on stage is only like three months. Yeah, we came up with the prototypes really quick. I remember just being like one meeting and then, well, here's how it's possible. <laughs> what do you think? Right. So we sort of made them so they're on a stand, so they're self-supported and operated from above. Mostly they're operated from the side. But so we started out of we started with cardboard. Yeah, that's how most puppets start. Yeah, <laughs> that's how some puppets stay. But <laughs> well, when we yeah. first started talking to Tolmer about this one, he made it clear that he wanted us to do the puppets. Like he was bringing us in to figure out what the puppets were and to really collaborate. So I think that's really why this one's been fun. Fun, yeah, and also the puppets are, they have a lot of stage time. They're not just props, they're not just extras. They're really kind of in, interwoven into all the scenes. Uh, they're kind of like a chorus, which is why they are freestanding, so they can just stand there and be observing uh, the action, what's happening. So, yeah, it, it, instead of just, sometimes you get in a production and the puppets are like props. They're, yeah. they're not really characters. And so this was much more fun because, you know, they get to be thieves or sex workers or, you know, the beggars and the police. Those are the four groups. Yeah. The idea behind the puppet films is that basically we wanted to make the show even bigger than the stage could contain. So we uh, designed these three short puppet films that will go up on what we're calling the jumbotrons, these big screens uh, that are sometimes their background, sometimes they're like their own little music video uh, storytelling pieces. So those are fun to make <laughs> because uh, at one point it kind of ties the puppet world into the stage world, but it's also a little bit of variety. So you get to do something that's a little different, like the shadows and Pirate Jenny are very different than anything else you see on stage. And uh, the little toy theater, uh, Ballad of the Easy Life is, is very different, so. It's like three different looks, worlds, three worlds, yeah, yeah but, but it's still based in the visual realm of the puppet. I think Tomer may be interested in doing more collaborations. He seems to be a fan of puppets. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's interesting that part of this is because of the pandemic, we actually had time to do this. We, we, we've thought about projects before with Tomer, but we never had the time. And this time we did. And so it really worked out, I think, for a collaboration. Yeah. It's been great. Uh, this is a show that I've always wanted to work on. Uh, Three Penny Opera is one of my favorite shows. And uh, it's kind of a, an experiment. We've never really done puppets quite like this. So it's always uh, problem solving and figuring things out. And I think we came up with something uh, uh, kind of weird, but unique. <laughs>